Current sensors are an important element of a power supply chain. In this episode of Tech Ventures with Lazina, I will introduce you to the Faraday Board, a pocket-sized power meter designed by the Future Electronics System Design Center to demonstrate current sensing designs. Hi, welcome back to Tech Ventures. My name is Lazina and I'm the Technical Marketing Engineer at Future Electronics. If you're interested in checking out any previous Tech Ventures videos, then please click the link on the screen or check out the description box below. All right, so let's get started. The Faraday board implements four channels with current sensors controlled by two Infineon PSOC 4 microcontrollers to measure voltage, current, and power. But before we dive into the board, I just wanted to take a moment to explain that current sensors are an important element of a power supply chain. Devices come in all shapes and sizes, so it's not a surprise that they need different amounts of electricity to function properly. But more importantly, they can also get damaged from receiving too much power. Current sensors measure the flow of electrical charges in a given system passively without interrupting the circuit in any way. Back to the board. Channels 1 and 2 are isolated channels implemented with two Molexus integrated magnetic current sensors and they are controlled by the Infineon PSOC 4 microcontroller to measure DC current up to 25 amps or 60 volts via terminal block connections. Channel 3 is designed for current measurement up to 5 amps or 20 volts via USB type C port connections using the Vichy current sense resistor combined with the diodes ink current monitor and Infineon PSOC 4 microcontroller. Channel 4 can measure up to 300 milliamps or 5 volts via the USB type A port connection using the same PSOC microcontroller as channel 3. As you can see in the block diagram, the PSOC A block controls the communication to your PC through a USB UART bridge, whereas the PSOC B block controls user interface with capacitive touch keypad user buttons and the WISE chip OLED display to show current, voltage, and power measurement results. The terminal block connectors are from TE and the power components on the board are from Recom. The voltage, current, and power going through any of the four channels can be measured in the following four setups. With channels 1 and 2, you need to connect your power source and the device under test in series to channel 1 or 2 to measure voltage, current, and power. What's interesting is that you can measure DC power supply efficiency by connecting your power source to channel 1 for input, and in between you have the device under test, and then your load at channel 2 for output. This measures your power in and out and calculates the efficiency. Channel 3 measures the voltage, current, and power of a USB Type-C device. Channel 4 measures the voltage, current, and power of a USB device. This could be any development kit that can be powered by a USB device. I have my AVR BLE board from Microchip today, and I'm going to connect into the port like so. And then I'm going to select Channel 4. And on the OLED display, I can see that my board is consuming 4.99 volts, 0 0.025 amps for the current, and 0.128 watts. One more thing I want to mention is that all this information can also be viewed on a terminal emulator program like TerraTerm. To request a demo or for more information on the Faraday board or any of the suppliers that were mentioned in today's video, then please contact your local Future Electronics representative or visit us at futurelectronics.com. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time on Tech Ventures with Luzina.